hello and welcome back. Uh, we're going to do an unboxing of the uh, Ravel Star Trek 1500 uh, scale uh, JJ Price or the Into the Darkness Enterprise. It's a cool ship. Many people don't like it. I kind of like it. I kind of like the hot rod 50s look with the nacelles being so large and the real nice curves that it has, you know, in the pylons and uh, still keeping that you know, actual dish looking deflector dish, but modernizing it with it glowing and everything cool. Um, all the lights that are all over it, the spinning uh, facades being blue. Um, I think it's a really cool ship, so uh, let's head on over to the bench and take a look at it. Well, here she is, the JJ Prize. Great ship. Like I said, I really love it. I especially like the first movie. I haven't seen the third. <clears throat> Into Darkness was good, but, you know, the whole con thing, I think they could have went off on their own thing since they had the chance. <clears throat> but this ship, I like this better than the refit. I think the refit, they started actually even changing these to smaller... You know, because people were get complaining about them being so big. Um, they changed the impulse engine. Um, but yeah, people were complaining how large these nacelles are. But I love them. I love the detail. I'm really looking forward to doing the, uh, the um, ads teching on these. I'm going to do these in the natural paint. I'll be doing the blue and I think a couple highlights of green in it. But mainly blue or gold blue and gold I think is what what, the, what it calls for um, yeah and I'm 100% sure there's a, a picture of the model on the top you know we got all the gray highlights and stuff and we're gonna light this edge up as well I think we got to do some finagle and to get that to work I love that saucer dish. What else we got? Just the pic same picture on the side. Just, uh, anything on the back? Nope. So let's pop her up and take a look here. She's a 1500, so she's not going to be as big as the 1350s. But. That looks like the upper deck because there's where those pieces get glued. And uh, impulse deck is where the bridge goes in. I think it comes up through. If I remember correctly, here's the lower deck, lower saucer. That's where the neck attaches. That's where your impulse engines are. Looks like that's the recreational deck, one of these. I believe it's on this side on the bigger one. Looks like those windows are a little closed to file those open. It's like they're supposed to be about the same size. So it's got some, at least the, the lip of the ship is already molded in. That's great. So there's only one seam and that's going to be, and they got have, they have it snapped together. So it's pretty tight at seam. Yeah, it's just going to be on this edge. It's just okay. That's great. Um, we got our clear parts. There's our, our even our deflector dishes are clear. We gotta figure out how that's actually supposed to be painted. Then get the blue with darker blue in the center. We gotta figure out how that's gonna light. The copper parts in the very very center uh, that that would be copper and then these would be darker blue those stripes but it's all the deflector rage stuff and windows and other areas and we got our nacelle this is our bassard collector they got some cool graph patterns in them more windows and other areas. 
crazy. Here's the base, and there's your observatory part of the bottom sensor. There's that. There's your bridge. And there's your stand. There's your pylons. There's that neck piece. There's your impulse engines. Which we're going to have to cut those out because I have a... <clears throat> I do have... The... Uh, impulse engine grills. Now that's the impulse engine grill for the larger one to refit. I'm not sure if it's just behind the sticker. Yeah. This is a cool uh, this is one of my add-ons to the kit is the Paragraphics photo etch. I can get it out of here. There we go, slowly. We got the fan blades, which we got to build. Um, we got the shuttle bay, which we're going to have to cut in. That's going to be cool. I think these are still part of the fan blades. We got all kinds of other little areas, little guns. Those, uh, they got little sh <laughs> fake shuttles from the side view and the back view that you can put inside the shuttle bay. I think this here is the cockpit. And then they give you the, the refit version. I mean, it's cool. It's just so big and long. And I kind of like the classic small version. And these are jigs. Not sure what all those are. We got some different grilling and plating. I think goes around the the uh, deflector array. These are trusses for in here. What there's looks like there's one, two, three, four. Should be one, two, three, four. But yeah, and then you even get a nice plate that I can somewhere find a spot for. Might have to do it off the one side. It'd be nice if it fit there. <clears throat> but I have to pick which view I'm having it and try to fit that in there. It's kind of weird how to do it. Do I do it like that? Or do I try to strain it? It looks like it'd be better if it did that. But yeah, that'll work. But that's uh, paragraphics. What, does it have an item on? Or, uh, it has what kit number? I think the 4882 is the actual kit number that it goes for. Yeah, that's the kit number. Um, no real product number on here. But this is the uh, just the USS Enterprise Star Trek 2009 Into Darkness photo etch kit. So I highly recommend it. You give us a shuttle bay, and I don't know if I'll use those fake shuttles. It might for way in the back. It's a forced perspective. But to add that shuttle bay to give it. You know, I'll have to to get that to fit. Where was that part? Yeah, we got to cut that grill out and then you put that over top <clears throat> that's gonna be cool so that's the photo etch part of that and there's that we got secondary hall where the pylons are already on and I heard that this feels a little flimsy until it's all put together and I can see why because that is very thin thin plastic for these pylons hold the nacelles but probably once it gets its top piece this here it's gonna be a little flimsy and we got front and nacelle parts and 
other side parts that glue onto the nacelles on that sprue. And here are the nacelles. Nice size. I like them. I like that you have the blue coming through these areas. Yeah, very nice. Nice detail. But yeah, it's great that you got <clears throat> the blue all coming out from underneath there. And I think a little bit in here. It's a really cool sh ship and I like it. And then here's our decal, which I just throw in one big sheet on the ground. Alright, Rebel. Oh, there that stuff was. And there was a smear in the numbers. Which almost hit a little bit on there. That's, that's not, that doesn't make me happy. They give you a little decal piece that I can put on the stand as well. So that's going to be interesting. <clears throat> that plaque would actually fit right up front. <clears throat> I think too many would be too gaudy. But I'll have to decide which one I want to go with. The decal, which is nice. Or do I go with the... And there's part of the instructions to the photo etch. Building the shuttle bay. Or do I go with that, which I do like. But that one's kind of nice too. Well, like I said, there's no real place to pour this big unless I build my own base. It's like there's nowhere where that'd fit. It has to be that far up. And that far up is right over that piece. Is that the stand? Yeah, that's the stand. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Which to go? I like... You know, they didn't even give you any room in the back. Because that would look really good. Back here, if this was a little more forward. But I'm sure it's because of the weight of the ship. The nacelles are back here. And then the cells. But that would have looked good there. That was just up, a, you know. Hmm. Choices, choices. And I can use that for another Enterprise because it's, it's straight up. doesn't tell you which one. So that's, that's that might work for the uh, old school TOS. Because I'm not sure if the TOS came with a good nameplate. Yeah, it did. The Paragraphics TOS nameplate's not too bad. But that might work for that one. And I can use this one for the other. Because it's going to say USS Enterprise NCC 1701. So I could probably, that would be the key. I can just switch a rear. Because this one has that curve. Let's see if that curve. If it makes it in here, and then I can squeeze USS Enterprise right across here. Then I got a Federation of Planets. Which would probably go go better with the original, but I can use and then I can use this for the original series with that symbol up above. 
That would be cool. That might be the way to do it. But there's the decals. There's many stuff we won't be using. Like that. <laughs> so we're going to be lighting it and stuff like that. But you know, and they even got the uh, sensor bands, colors. That's what I believe those are. Not a lot of decals compared to like the refit, but plenty. Yeah, that's just that little smudge there, mostly in the numbers, but there's a little bit of smudge on that piece right there. So that kind of bites. But all right, we'll move on. Down the bottom. So, so it kind of covers that decal sheet. And try to remember how this stuff went in there. I know this went in there like that. And you can do a flat piece, clear. And there's the top saucer, which is nice. They didn't over. Is this in there? I don't know. It's in going in there now. They gave you plenty of big of a box for that. And then I do have the lighting kit from Gary Hughes. And I think I bought another one from somebody else, which I'm going to use some, the lights that he gave me to, to put on the actual saucer. Because there's lights that shine down at the, the registry. And they're right on, they're on the surface. So all I got to do is drill a tiny hole for them to come up and then have them shine, which is going to be cool. But all the rest, as far as the motorized, because I'm not doing the motors, like the blades moving, but I'm going to have the lights actually go. And here's Gary Hughes' light kit. Gives you the templates for that. You know, a jack, some shrink tube, battery tester. We got some resistors and some LEDs. These are the blue. These are the white. It's not there. Just a little different. Um, you got your two multicolored uh, wire that's going to go for your different lights and the nacelles. This looks like this would be that board. It has the bigger chip. And the nice thing I like is you get to build the board. You save a little money, but you get to build the board. So it makes, to me, makes me feel uh, more involved. And these, these will be the flashers. So hopefully this does, should do the double strobe. Um, so that's awesome. Very excited to get involved and get this one going. But yeah, I, already, I always order the stuff I need for it right away. But there we have it. The 2009 Into the Darkness Enterprise, which I'm really excited to get building because it's quite a different and more modern looking ship. Yet yeah, still has some of the characteristics of the original Constitution. So until next time, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you uh, watch the series when I get it going. And until then... Thanks for watching. Oh, um, one more thing that I wanted to add to you. Here's my uh, Aztecing masks uh, for the uh, JJ Prize. This is from uh, Aztec Dummy. It's the uh, Revel Into the Darkness Enterprise Aztec Templates Set 2.0. And uh, item number AD36. Um, I used his masks on the NX-1 which worked really good and I used them on the Enterprise which worked pretty good as well. So let's take a look inside. See what he sent us. I got these through Colt, T Colt TV. Um, Aztec Dummy is one show I like to, I do enjoy watching. So here's his instructions. It looks like the maskings for it under the hood and 
maskings uh, in the nacelles. And he might even uh, looks like he had problems with the nacelle ends. There's templates for the sides and the nacelle. Because I wonder if he has you move them. I'll have to read more on what, on what he has going on as far as, as far as that. We got secondary hall stuff, which is nice. I don't know if that came as a decal, but I like the painted version. Nice. Um, down here is the uh, lower saucer and upper saucer. Oh, and there's an area that comes out in the center for the ring. Let, let you know about that. Some sensor bands. Which is awesome. Some uh, for the painted T's shapes that are on the ship. For phaser rank placements. That's awesome. I don't think they're very raised areas. Skate pod hatches. Gives you the different colors so you can get those painted right. Striping, main gray pennant striping stuff for your deflector dish that's kind of cool he did it like a oh, copper with the blues on the outside I wonder that's if that's how it really is I think so and then the blue comes through instead of it doing me too oh, I like that copper anyway better yeah it looks really good so yeah there's the uh, instructions Pretty self-explanatory. He gives you pictures. Um, I still got to figure out what I'm going to do. Mainly blues and some golds, I think, here and there. I'll have to look the, off this at the movie. Doesn't really say. that's cool I'm excited to even get to that because it is nice doing some masks I got some that I already pre decaled and stuff but this is gonna have the color shifting so I think I'm gonna do the color shifting blue and the color shifting uh, gold and here's the blue comes in a can like this and you hear there's a actual ball in there to really mix the colors up. It's actually from uh, for a, uh, doing taxidermy for fish. So, 
to get the color, like say on a trout or something. And I think this I got from Moduskies or something. Get the exact name of the place. When I get to building it, I'll I'll send a link. If I don't put a link at the at the on this, but these are great. They have a blue, a red, a green, and a gold. And I wish they had like a silver too, because this would look really good with silver all over it. But I think I'm gonna do a light blue with some gold highlights here and there. I think that's how she's gonna be. And uh, yeah, here's the masks. They're hard to see because they're not weeded. And I can't quite get it in an angle that you can see it. But these are the saucer. And he has a B there, so that's probably bottom. Here's some nacelles and some under neck. Stuff like that. There's the ones for the array her small ones for the sensor bands more sensor bands um, I don't know what those are if those are to help give you a, a little difference on the ship oh nice I mean he gives you Oh, and he already <laughs> he already cut that part out, I guess, or something. He might just need the other part, these pieces or something. Not sure what's going on there. Got some window blockage. There's your different uh, lifeboats and stuff like that. Very cool. Yeah, I don't know if these, because you got one, two, three, four, five, six. And on the bottom, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so you have an eight and then you have these two extras, which I'm not sure. What they are for. No, no, no. We'll look. But I'm wondering if those give you extra little patterns that you can do in a different color. Which I could do that in a little bit of a gold or something. We'll see. But I believe that's what those are. So you keep uh, changing them. Looks like they're the same. But you put one on the under, you know either underneath or on top. I'm thinking maybe I do those first and then do the over top. Yeah, I think I do those in a gold and do these in a blue and then a couple of these in a gold. Something like that. But I figure I'd show you that because that's definitely interesting. Um, but yeah, there's the mask set for the Into the Darkness Enterprise. So I will see you soon. Can't wait for the build. Until next time, thanks for watching.